Man, at what point does two grown men making songs at each other turn into less of an art form and more of just dudes being total is a Just kiss, eh, <laughs> at this point. I don't think there's any winners in this beef. It seems to be all the internet's talking about right now. It's all that what our internet is talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we follow Instagram channels with questionable handles. So Yeah, definitely. That we can't per se. So what does that say? It's funny because Drake clearly has Grand Wizard and Academics on the payroll where- A hundred percent. Jock and heavy. It seems like at the moment, the thing is Drake seems to be representative of like the Zoomers, like the new generation. And then Kendrick somehow is representative of more old head dudes, even though they came out at the same time. Hmm. Like I remember listening to Section 80 and um, So Far Gone. The same, I'm pretty sure it was like the same year. So they're both generationally the same rap, the same artists. Yeah, I suppose it's just very different, uh, different artists. Yeah, I mean Kendrick's just de- well, they they propose to be anyway. Yeah, he I think he, I think it's two sides of the same coin, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. But it's funny because I was talking to uh, our dear associate, young Tony. Oh yeah, and he was hard on the Kendrick. Was he? He's like, it's all Kendrick. Kendrick's winning, and I was like. Dude, from where I'm sitting, it looks very much like Drake is winning this. Yeah. Just on the quality of songs alone. Mate, and the production quality of the videos. Yeah, true. S- stand out. <laughs> I think for me, it's just like, you guys make songs. So whoever makes the better song. That's right. That's what it's got to be. Otherwise, just tweet. Like, what am I going to play in the car? I'm not going to be in the car listening to, oh, did you hear what he said about that? Yeah, the slam, like, po- which the one, slam poetry. <laughs> which one bangs harder? <laughs> yeah. And it's Drake, boy. <laughs> yeah. He even jams three different beats into I that know. One. <laughs> it's like, that was three songs in one. It was like eight minutes of burns. But everyone's always about the artistry of like the artistry of hip hop and like diss tracks and coming for each other and subliminals and this sort of stuff. At the end of the day, Drake called him short. He said that Drake was like a bad father. Mm-hmm. And then Drake's like, you be your wife. And now he's like, you're. It's escalating to a point where it's not going to do good for either of them. <laughs> there needs to be a ceasefire. Could, can Drake lose though? You know, if, if he is, doesn't respond to this. So the one that came out today. You know he will respond. He will. But the one that came out today was heavy on him and his whole squad being yeah, as signified is, by the artwork. There is no substantiated proof to any of those claims. But there's no substantiated proof that he beat his wife either. I, th- I think there probably is, like, based on what she- I haven't gone- Are you just a Drake full- shill, bro? Is that what's no, going no, on? No, I'm just saying- Are like, you a Drake stan? It, he does. He's come back with a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't at all seem, like, uh, legitimate. It's like me saying, well, hey, the- man, your shoes are kind of dirty today. I'm like, yeah, well, you f- kids. <laughs> yeah, but there is. there's always been, like, groomer- Thing. So in the I new like one, Millie Bobby Brown. Shit yeah, thing. yeah. So there's been there's been groomer allegations mm. going does, back. Does Drake need to groom children? It's not about what people need to. And do look now. at look at his. I don't think uh, anyone has a burning need <laughs> to. His groom lineup. Children. They don't really scream child to you, do they? They scream huge ass porn star women for sure. <laughs> Man, not everyone eats the same items from the smorgasbord every time they go. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so what you're saying is if. Uh, was the um, buffet at the Crown Casino, he'd be getting a little bit of prawn, a little bit of pasta. Yeah, some steak. Some steak. And it seems like Drake might like the veal or the lamb, perhaps, (laughs) which is questionable. (laughs) (laughs) Which is the the young one. (laughs) Is it veal? But yeah, it's like, no, veal's old Mm. and like, veal's, veal's like proper... A victim. Veal's I'm pretty always- sure with Veal, they like swear at it and call it names and beat it in the dark and like don't let it see light. It's, seen, it's such an, an insane thing to do to a meat and then be like, mm, this is delicious. That's how I like my meat though. <laughs> Beaten. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is, man, Re- in regards to the beef. Back when it was Tupac and Biggie or, you know, Snoop Dogg, East Coast versus West Coast, there was a real threat of violence that underpinned all of that. With this, I don't see either team swinging, especially not the two at the top. Their, their crews might have a little bit of a uh, fisticuffs at some point if, if worlds have emerged, but there's no real violent threat here. Yeah. Rap beef has been way more real 
in recent times than it ever has been before. Like everyone talks about the Biggie and Tupac thing. It's like, yep, gotcha. That happened. But then all this Chicago rap stuff, basically all of Florida, they've all been fully killing each other. Yeah, but they're not- they're, they're not, not at their top. At that top. Like, there's always going to be, like, yeah, Little sub- Dirk is. Little Dirk is, like, one of the biggest artists of our generation as mm. far as, like, streams go and plays and money in general. And he apparently is, like, the Green Reaper. Mm. He has got some bodies. Mm. So- well, I couldn't name a track or I've never heard a diss track of his. Or I wouldn't be able to pick him out of a lineup. All of their songs are diss tracks. Like, they don't make songs that are diss tracks. <laughs> okay, <yet. yeah. laughs> they got this thing where they say that they're smoking on their ops, so, like, a kid will die in the streets, and then they'll all get on Instagram Live and smoke a massive joint, and they'll be like, smoking on Tuka. Right. It's disrespectful. Right. Heavily disrespectful. And then they're all about sliding for their ops. So, you got to, like, if someone dies, like, if Josh died, people in the comments here would be like, you're going to slide for Josh. Right. Like, if the junkies next door take me out, mm. are you going to slide for Scourge? That's the question. I'll do nothing for Scourge. You would cry. I'll smoke on Scourge. You would cry. I'll smoke a big one on you Scourge. Would not smoke. <laughs> you would not be smoking Scourge. I'd smoke three to four of Scourge. You would cry. You would be so <laughs> devastated. You wouldn't be able to work. <laughs> You'd be seen as psych. You'd be at my funeral playing. Did it be that Boys to Men song? <laughs> How do I <laughs> say goodbye? <laughs> You'd be singing it. You'd be getting the boys together. Dude, boys to men five are sick, harmony. though. Boys to men are sick. They are sick. I wonder if they had beef back in the day. Yeah. They were probably gangster as hell. Yeah. You really are the black music correspondent in the Club Good podcast. You know I all listen of the, to a lot of music, bro. You know all of the ins and outs of the um the I don't quirky. see artist color oh right i hear it though yeah i'll be like that's a black guy (laughs) 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 nah i listen to a lot of music and i consume a lot of internet so i know what's up i listen to a fair i listen i watch a fair bit of trap law ross Mm -hmm. he's like a dude that looks like um harry potter and he's english and he speaks he breaks down all the things and he's got people that want him dead Really? Yeah. Maybe that'd he's be, Grand Wizard chat. He could be the Grand Wizard. It, I, it wouldn't surprise me if Grand Wizard looks somewhat like him. Okay. Yeah, we can circle it all the way back to the Drake and Kendrick thing. Okay. You have Drake You have Drake winning. That's what I have Drake up right now, yeah. Damaging to both of them. I don't think damaging to Drake. I think it's been damaging to Kendrick. I don't really see much. Yeah, because Kendrick's more of a legacy guy and Drake is more of a public figure. Yes. Yeah. So... But it does sound like it appears, if you listen to the internet powers that be, that Drake's team has been feeding Kendrick misinformation. Do you think if Kendrick retired from making music today, he has a legacy? Yeah. Could kid Mad City. Yeah. I think he does. I think it's our generation. Can you have a legacy with one album? Yeah. I mean, if Nas died after Illmatic, he would have been the greatest rapper that ever lived. Do you think Illmatic's better than Mad City? Yes. But Mad City is brilliant. I think it's great. Yeah. I don't think it's legacy good. It's better than any other rap album that's come out since. Yeah. I would say legacy wise, as far as like crazy, brilliant, world changing rap albums happened, you'd have Nazilmatic, Good Kid Mad City, College Dropout. College Dropout. But it's probably not. That's just more so what My beautiful that. dark twisted fantasy, I think. I think that's my favorite Kanye album, but college, but college dropout is probably the one I listen to the most. Hmm. Get rich or die trying. Martha Marshall Mathers LP, but I don't feel like that they stand up like Illmatic does. Like you can still, yeah, Thirty Six Chambers probably, Hmm. but I don't know. Like Drake doesn't have one. Take Care was very good, but it's not like I don't think anyone will ever listen to Kendrick again and not be like. I wish I could hear Good Kid, Mad City for the Drake time. has like 10 top, like two, number two albums. He's just servicing his celebrity by riding the waves of the times, which he's very good at. And he has mm. a big team that does mm. that with him. So like, I think Drake is bolstering his celebrity by continuously making music. Mm-hmm. Whereas as far as an art form goes, 
and timeless classics. I mm-hmm. really do think. I mean, timeless classics as well. You'd have you probably have to say two thousand one. Hotline or the Bling. chronic. <laughs> Undeniable. The funniest thing is that people talk about like real hip hop now. Like I was having this argument with Tony where he's like, Kendrick is like real hip hop and Drake is just a fraud. You know what I mean? And I was mm-hmm. like, Ice Cube wrote the majority of NWA's material. Ice Cube was a uh, architecture student. He was not a gangster at all. Mm. So he was writing this whole like street commentary thing from the the view of what was going on at the time, but he wasn't a part of it. So it's never been real. Yeah. It's literally never been real. So you can't, that whole argument, you can't even really get behind, I don't think. Well, there you go, guys. Two white guys commentating on black art. Club are good. Good.